When I'm feeling down I can't win For a strong cup of coffee I tune in I'm waking on up To java with Jim And now I know my best day Can begin Yeah Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another exciting episode of Java with the Jazz. My name is Jim Meyer, broker associate at Remax Gold. Now you have a friend in the real estate business. I've got my good friend Jim Felipe Esquire. Now you have a friend in the attorney business. I've sent him a ton of clients. None of those people have gone to jail. And we are blessed to have Carmen with us all this week talking about something pretty cool, which is... Um, marketing uh, your own basically you could do your own private label wine and there's so much more to it than that i'm i'm giving it disservice but jim are you drinking any coffee this morning you know me i'm not a coffee guy so i'm sticking with water i'm keeping uh, god's god's juice in me there you go uh, <laughs> what are you drinking oh i haven't checked that box yet jim oh it's, it's still early it's still early I'm drinking my coffee. I like my coffee the way I like my governor. Completely unable to take responsibility for anything. Okay, Carmen, um, you're connected with uh, a company. What? Look at the looks on their faces. They just don't understand good comedy. Um, so I wonder if anybody cares about my coffee out there. Um, but let's get back to wine, Carmen. That's more interesting than coffee. Am I right? exactly we should be drinking wine for breakfast true and uh, yeah wine for breakfast is a good thing uh, <laughs> well a sparkling wine with an art nice orange juice uh-huh and we have a, a a lovely um a a lovely jcb wine with jcb they're one of our um, partners of course and it's a nice sweet wine they'll go perfect with eggs Okay, beautiful. And not if you're an Uber driver or anything, you know, I, I don't want you guys drinking. <laughs> Heavy <Yeah>. machinery. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, not. Yeah. That's not a hard no. Drinking and driving, but especially with so many people that work from home these days, have a little uh, a little sweet uh, wine in the morning with your eggs, Benedict, it's not going to kill anybody. So, uh, Carmen, you're connected with a, a number of wineries out there, and we've touched on that a little bit, but how many wineries does the membership grant you access to? Nine. Get out of here. And eight, yeah. eight in the Napa Valley and one in France. So you could, how long would it take you to go to Napa and, and uh, do wine tasting at all eight of those wineries? Well, I doubt that you'll be able to do them in one day. Okay. So you'll be pretty, 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 pretty tipsy if you try that one. Exactly. Um, normally a tasting can um, take anywhere. It depends on the group, but it could take anywhere between two, you know, two, maybe three hours at the most. Uh -huh. um, you can probably do maybe three wineries in a day um, where you narrow down your time. Of course, they like for you to make reservations in advance and so forth. So you have to base it on your reservation time slots. But to do them all in one day, you're a big guy. Okay. Yeah. And and you needed um, a back a designated backseat driver like myself. So, um, and Jim, have you done uh, wine tasting much at all? You know, I've done it maybe about 15 years ago. I'm yeah, maybe I didn't. I have to jump back in. When he you got to jump back in. Summer's coming. That's right. That that wine's not going to drink itself, for God's sakes. Um, <laughs> Carmen, will you come back tomorrow and talk a little bit more with us? Yes, I'll come back as long as you would like. Oh, thank you so much, uh, Jim. Do you have any parting words? No, look forward to tomorrow. Okay, we'll see you guys again tomorrow.